The precision, the clean lines, and luxurious leather. This is the beginning of something beautiful. The finished product, a leather clutch, not for your phone or makeup, but for cannabis. That's right, cannabis. So yeah, it's our road trip kit. So it's everything for on the go. So if I was going out to the club at night, I might put my phone in there, but it also fits most vaporizers in the pocket up there. Oh, okay. It's where fashion meets function. Pockets for vaporizers and weed grinders. Emma Barron is the co-founder of Milkweed, a modern cannabis accessories brand. Barron got the idea after working with medicinal marijuana patients. Part of the inspiration for Milkweed for me was um, seeing like, you know, 70, 80 year olds, like your grandma, coming into the clinic. And the cannabis is working for them, but the only like products they can find are covered in weed leaves. And this patient doesn't even want to use the cannabis. They're so like ashamed of the accoutrement that go with it. Milkweed collaborates with Canadian designers, from potters to leather crafters, like here at Hyde in Toronto. Here we used um, essential oils that share the same terpenes as cannabis. Oh, so you're okay. kind of like blending in with the smell of cannabis and freshening it rather mm -hmm. than trying to cover it up. Trying to mask it. So this one's uh, lavender, orange, and frankincense. The retailer's strategy? To help erase the stigma around marijuana use. One elegant design or scent at a time. It's bringing it out of the closet, out from under the bed and onto the coffee table and feeling good about it. Marijuana used to be an underground market, but today, pot is all about showing off. There's Instagram pages that look like high fashion ads. Mainstream lifestyle magazines are tracking pot trends. Everything from printed rolling papers to gold packing tools and even diamond encrusted vape pens. Make no mistake, women are putting their mark on cannabis couture. At the Okana Biz Industry Conference in Toronto this summer, it's mostly men but women are bursting onto the scene. We want to bring our energy and our design eye to this and see it in a very different way. I mean, that's a huge opportunity. April Pride is the founder of Vanderpop, a cannabis lifestyle brand for women launched in Seattle two years ago. Pride brought her experience not only as a designer, but as a mother to the table. I do think that design can change people's minds. And so creating a product that's beautiful and functional, keeping in mind that a woman perhaps is a mom, right? And so odor is a huge deal to her. Their $370 clutch features a three-digit lock to keep pot out of kids' hands and ultraviolet stash jars made to keep smells contained. Now, a big part of her business is mentoring other women. I think it's incredibly exciting to think about this being the first billion dollar industry that women really could be at the forefront of. Rachel Colick is a marketer and founder of Eves of Eden. Her brand is 100% female owned and operated. If I can make it look just like every other beautiful fashion blog you like as you're scrolling through your phone, then it starts to take cannabis out of that dark corner. A rebranding of marijuana is in full swing. Ask any marketer and they'll say that's because the purchasing power lies with women. Women are starting to step to the forefront as it's becoming um, legal and a business opportunity are really coming out of the closet and saying, yes, I have used cannabis, I do use cannabis, this is what it does for me and I wanna be a part of what's happening. Not only are women part of it, they're helping lead the way. Tashauna Reed, CBC News, Toronto.